a sense of shock. Because when His Excellency the President, in 2022, during the by-elections in Kwacha, made those public pronouncements that due to the deplorable state of sanitation in old Kwacha of Kwacha constituency, and given the rising occurrences of cholera, it was imperative to begin to upgrade some of these residential areas in the like manner that now the government is earmarking upgrading of parts of Lusaka starting with Kanyama in order to respond to the challenge of sanitation and decorum. That now some people can say the president went to commission a single toilet. As a government, we would like to urge the opposition to come up with material and substantial issues that they would like to engage this government on. That is what we would like to request, and on that score, we can engage to make progress. Let me also take this opportunity, therefore, uh, since this is uh, also under my ministry, to urge my colleagues in the media that let us be of good use to the information of the public. We in the media, or some sections of the media, no matter how partisan they may be by orientation, should not use that public function of being a media channeling out information to the unsuspecting public to be used as purveyors of lies and misinformation. I did witness with gross horror and consternation a TV station, KBN TV, hosting a discussion on the President of the Republic of Zambia commissioning one toilet in Kitwe and opening phone lines allowing unsuspecting citizens to make comments on an informed basis. And even create a caption that we have now seen they have thrown around social media that the diaspora is disappointed with President HH commissioning one toilet. Yet these are the same people as media who followed the presidential proclamations when the president was in Kitwe during the Kwacha by elections that he had directed that there should be an upgrade in terms of sanitation, water and sanitation services in the area. It is also expected that if that was going to be true, that a president can go to commission a toilet, we expect a vigilant and vibrant media to investigate the truth about such a startling proposal before venturing to misinform the public to host discussion programs knowing very well that the anchor of such a discussion was based on misinformation. Again, being in charge of this ministry, I don't want to be the one to say I should be checking whether IBA is following up on the contents that some of our media outlets are feeding to the nation in line with the provisions of the Independent Broadcasting Authority Act of 2002. It sets out the conditions that all media houses must be able to follow, particularly to do with the content. And therefore, we would like to indicate that uh, the public out there 
should not be misinformed, should not be deceived by some media houses who are doing partisan politics and also some opposition political players who have run out of basic issues of materiality that they can engage government on and now have opted and resorted to propaganda day in, day out. It is definitely unreasonable and unthinkable to imagine that any head of state, particularly President HH, can set out to go and commission a single toilet. Let me also indicate here that we have observed with sadness as government some of the comments that are being thrown out there in the social media space from various sectors, particularly the opposition, accusing the president of being mismanaged and wasting taxpayers' money to travel from Lusaka to Kitwe to go and commission one toilet. From this transaction of 14 events that the president went to attend and grace, 14 of them, it is very clear that the president's trip to the Copper Belt was worthwhile. Each and every single day that he spent on the Copper Belt, he utilized it prudently, knowing that as servant number one of the people, he was using the people's time. 